now my pleasure to introduce Tzach Perlman. The last movement of a piece that was written by Schubert uh, called uh, Quartet, Death and the Maiden Quartet, Subtitle that because he, several years before he wrote that quartet, he wrote a song by that name. And this song is incorporated in the second in the slow movement of this quartet. However, we're not going to do the slow movement, we're going to do the fast movement. And maybe we'll do the fast movement slowly so that then we can do the fast movement fastly. <laughs> Okay, all right, so can I do it again? All right, so send uh, 678 again. What? <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but don't try so hard. It's easy. <laughs> and also, don't do with the violin. That's not going to help. Just a bow. What? <laughs> nice. I love that. I love that. Let's let's do it make one more time so it's not an accident. What? Remember where you're sitting? Francesca and Caroline, Stephen and Co, Mariella and Dory, Michelle and Annie, Francesca and Philip, Co and Eugene. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, if you're wondering what this is all about, those of you who are here first time. Um, Usually when we rehearse and when we play concerts, we like to rotate people. And, and, and I think that it's very appropriate uh, that we are rotating today for the rotaries. It just occurred to me that it was interesting. So we like to rotate uh, for every single piece so if a piece has several movements, each movement has a different people to sit in different places because we feel that uh, this is just one of those, we have a philosophy that we don't have levels of playing. You know, everybody here is doing their best that they can and everybody's talented and there's no such thing as I'm the best, therefore I'm sitting in the front. You know, that, that doesn't exist here.
Hi, and I am so honored to be here with Mr. and Mrs. Perlman today. Thank you for taking the time out to speak with us. So I want to talk about, Mrs. Perlman, the Perlman Music Program. What is the Perlman Music My Program? My favorite topic. Yes. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> the Perlman Music Program uh, is kind of an umbrella name at this point because we have many programs that we run. The original program, and still in my heart and soul and mind even, and the major program, mm -hmm. is a seven-week summer residency for pre-college age string players. Mm -hmm. It's an international program. We attract students from all over the world. And we are lucky to have a beautiful campus in Shelter Island, New York, with dormitories and um, a dining room and all the facilities that a summer camp needs. And that's the major program. Mm -hmm. We also have a chamber music workshop which meets during the summer uh, for ages 18 and above. Totally different curriculum. I do not run it. Mary Peckham is the director of that program. And we do, throughout the year, we do residencies in various places, Sarasota being the major one, mm -hmm. um, close to our hearts. Uh, we also do offer performance opportunities throughout the winter. Um, and we do international trips as well. Dorothy DeLay uh, was actually the first teacher that I had in the United States. And when she started to tell me, uh, Sugar Plum, what is your concept of G sharp? Instead of saying to me, it's out of tune, mm -hmm. uh, I was not used to that. And I hated that. And I didn't like it at all. And I just said to her, I said, just said to her, please tell me what to do and I'll do it. You know, that was the kind. And she believed in involving the student in the process of, of learning. And as much as I hated it then, funny enough, that's the way I teach now. And that's the way, that's part of the philosophy uh, of the Pro Music program, is the involving the student uh, in the process of learning, as well as not hitting them across the head with, with guilt trips or whatever. But I certainly don't think they're scared of me, and I don't think they're intimidated because I try to make them feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, when something doesn't sound right, uh, there's, there's several ways of saying that it doesn't sound right. You can either say, my God, that sounds horrible, or you can say, well, it's not entirely perfect. <laughs> and the minute you say something like this, everybody sort of gets put at ease. You know, it, it goes in the, you know, it goes from, well, a lot of people, when, when I teach, they know what I teach like. Uh, but when it comes to, we have this uh, or, uh, string orchestra that I conduct, and when f several things don't sound so good, you know, I try to use humor by, by demonstrating that it's not exactly something that is an ideal way of sounding and that we can do something better. But again, it's in the language and it's the attitude of, of uh, how you approach uh, the student. Yeah, okay, listen, as you notice, you know, you've got to keep looking because we don't want to be prisoner to a, the beginning. The tempo actually started, what do you think of that tempo? I mean, what happened? with that tempo. It started fast and then what happened? Then it started to slow down. And then I was going and nothing's happened. Actually the basses were very much uh, uh, on time and as a result we were not together. Because <laughs> they were going and we were kind of schlepping. <laughs> uh, schlepping, you know the terminology schlepping, it's in it. <laughs> Old Italian terms, you know. <laughs> hey, don't schlep. You know, it's fantastic. It's a very special anniversary. It's the 10th year for the Sun Coast. So I think on any anniversary, it, um, we have to pause and reflect a little bit. So I'd like to start with some reflections from both of you. And Toby, if I could start with you. Why do you think there is such a special resonance here in Sarasota with the program? Well, I, I think that the main issue is we're a lot of people, we're a big gang of people, and I think that USF is what makes it. 
They welcome us. The setup is perfect for us. We don't feel, we feel as if we're at home here. And that makes all the difference in the world. I just feel that the fact that we have a chance to duplicate our summer program in the winter mm -hmm. is a huge uh, plus for any program. And it's what actually makes us unique because there, I don't, if there, don't know if there are any programs where you actually um, have a summer program and then goodbye, see you next summer, as opposed to this program is goodbye and uh, looking forward to seeing you in the winter time. Mm -hmm. And that makes for uh, uh, socially uh, the, the makeup of the students is, it, it, you, it's un, un, indescribable as to how good it is, you know, just for them to have an opportunity not just to meet once a year. But then of course this program is not just summer residency, winter residency, we have a lot of things that's going on in between the summer and the winter and the winter and the summer and so on. But I think this is an extremely helpful and important part of their development is to, to work together in the summer and then to see what goes on in the winter. And then of course to us as faculty people, you know, to see the, the progress that, that they make with just three or four months apart. You know, it's, it's fantastic. What is the impact that you, if you were going to say, what is the impact that you hope for? I, I was just thinking about this issue of super strings and what more, more about that, what that's about. And I think you're right. I think when the kids first appear, they are terrified. I think that the humor with which you greet them is very helpful. But in terms of impact on them, let's say, for the purpose of this discussion, I think that when they partner with our kids and they hear the sound that they make and they're a part of that sound, I think it really impacts. It can impact enormously. And if just one child gets the bug, it's a wonderful thing. behind you was pretty good yeah any 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 questions all right sit down sit down sit down sit down sit down sit down <laughs> now any questions <laughs> any questions come on um, where is everybody from ah where is everybody from well let's see we've got United States, Boston, Boston. California, Israel, Israel, New York, San Francisco, hmm? New Jersey, France, Norway, Israel, Portland, Michigan, Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, no, no, not Pittsburgh, are you from Pittsburgh? I thought, I thought you were from uh, Seattle. You're from Pittsburgh? Okay, you're from Pittsburgh. New York City? Israel. Scranton? Ohio. 
Hmm? Indianapolis. Ooh. LA. Palo Alto. Australia. Ooh. Now I'm going to say, Phoebe, where are you from? Australia. Ooh. Max? Connecticut. <laughs> LA. Germany. Portland. Hmm? North Pole. And the North Pole is a very icy player. Very icy player. Uh, yeah. Uh, uh, yes? Long Island. Boston. Indiana. Indiana. Is that Hoosiers? Yes. Hoosiers? Yeah. Oh, never mind. What do I know? New York City. England. I didn't hear one word you just said. Japan, sort of. Japan, sort of. <laughs> Happy birthday. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Where? I, I can't hear anything. Tennessee. Tennessee. Well, you know what I heard? <laughs> Hungary. We are, we are an international group. Now I ask that you join with me, and I'd like to introduce Patrick Romano and the Perlman Music Program Chorus. Afternoon, everybody. Thank you for this lovely weather. <laughs> Feels like August in New York City. I want to thank you for your warm hospitality, your friendship, your enthusiasm, your appreciation. Uh, it's wonderful to hear this chorus of instrumentalists express themselves with their voice. I think it's quite unique and special, and I hope it is for you too. Thank you very much. Fire, fire. Now, I'm not going to stop, and I'm going to say this one time. I'm only going to say this once, because I'm not going to say it when we sing. Look up. Look. I want diction. Look up. Look engaged. Look like you're having fun. Sing like you play. One, two, one. Fight, 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 fight,
for various combinations with orchestra and so on. This particular one is for um, uh, harpsichord, flute, and violin. So what we did is we took all the violin part and we divided, as uh, we usually do, uh, among uh, all the 16 violinists here, and they're going to have their few bars, and then somebody else is going to take over. So that's the way we usually do that. <clears throat> that, in addition to uh, <clears throat> um, changing seats between movements and so on, uh, will give you um, a whirlwind sort of uh, uh, feeling that there's a lot of movement that's going on here, and that's, that's the idea, I think. Anyway, so this is the Brandenburg Concerto Number no. 5 by J.S. Bach. Thank you.